What up, y'all? What's going on, Facebook, IG, Instagram, YouTube? Uh, I pretty much was checking for uh, to see if I could find a way to put in my device's jailbroke. I wanted to find a way to figure out how to put uh, popcorn again. Pretty much popcorn time, so I could watch my movie and TV show. I got used to popcorn and love popcorn. So I said, let me figure out a way, which I did. This is only for jailbroken devices on iOS 12 and above. Pretty much, this will work on. First thing, of course, you need just city. If it's jailbroken, make sure you're in a jailbroken state. As you can see, I'm already jailbroken. Open my city up. You're gonna need some sources for the stuff that I'm gonna install. Try to make this video short. But I can't make no promises. These are the sources I have installed. These are the basic sources that come installed already previously. So you need to put in a couple of more sources. The first source I'm putting in right now is going to be for Safari Plus. So you can download in Safari. This is the source you need to add first. OPA. Three, three, four. Dot. Grid hub. Dot. Io. Slash. Let's install that first thing to install. Right there, Safari Plus. Now, install this. Next, you're going to need another source. So it's pretty much two sources you're going to need. Well, actually, no. I'm lying. You're going to need more than two sources. Because you need to put in repo repo I'm gonna actually give you a couple of different ways so you can install apps you know I mean APIs directly on your device when you download them through Safari through Safari then you just transfer them to one of the, your whichever you choose to open it up so there's a few actually ways of doing this okay Reprovision. Install Reprovision. Reprovision pretty much signs your apps for you. So, you, you know, if you tend to forget, every seven days you have to sign apps for, for certain apps. And this app pretty much signs it for you. All you got to do is put in your Apple ID and everything in the app when you first open it. And that's it. Every two, every, it's pretty much every seven days. So, every... You could say when you got two days left before your app gets revoked, reprovision it will sign it for you. That's reprovision. Okay. okay. I'm gonna give you two other ones too that you should always have installed anyway, especially if you're new to jailbreaking and stuff like that. Because this does help out a lot of people because you don't want to install any tweaks that will mess up your system. So I suggest you install both of these tweaks that I'm about to show you right now. The tweak, right here. tweak counter two, so you can see how many tweaks you have all together, and then tweak compatibility. And 
that one pretty much puts a check on the side of tweaks that's officially um, able to run on your devices pretty much they're compatible with your devices they'll have a wreck now a green check inside of city I'll show you right now that's just like I said that's a good thing to have just for people that don't really know don't want to read either everything that the that tweak does or whatever or if you are right there you go in there straight into tweak humanity and everything that's working you can see right here and just search it some of them you're gonna need to repo for or whatever but anyway back to what I was saying that's no hair don't there okay so we have this installed the Safari download we have that installed okay let's install two more repos now we're gonna go to Cydia that iPhone cake cake.com install this it's gonna give you a pop-up you'll see in a second so I just want to just add anyway Now we need our last repo, which is the Karen repo. Okay, that is Cydia. Start with this. Go straight into the app cake repo. See right here the first one that says app cake. Hit that. Install that. Let's show automatically that app sync on the identifier is actually from the camera repo that you just installed. So that's automatically so that way app cake works. So you can sync. <coughs> app cake is an app where you could download different apps. It's like an app store, pretty much. You can download a lot of the stuff that's in the App Store. You know, if, if you don't even have an account, like an App Store account, you can actually use AppCake to download different apps. Okay. There goes the reprovision for signing. Right. Let me show you what that is anyway. See, right here, boom. Put in your Apple ID right here and once you put in your Apple ID down here anyway back to what we was doing boom now let's go into Safari oh wait I haven't done this the options yet go into settings Safari plus uploads and downloads turn that on turn that on and so that way you know when you go into full screen on a video just in case you want to still have be able to download it from that right from there you turn that on now, now we get to go Safari. Close. I need to put in HTTP. Slash, slash. Here we go to Grid Hub. Releases. Releases. 
three, one, two, one, thirty, five. Go. There you go. Should bring you here. Once you get here, you go right down to releases. Sometimes it's like this. So just tap the assets and it's right there. First one is the, the one for <clears throat> our devices, and the second one for Apple TVs. Maybe if your Apple TV is jailbroken, you possibly, possibly can run the same thing. I don't have a four, a four one, uh, Apple four TV to, to test it out on. Uh, upgraded to the 4K, so can't jail, you know can't jailbreak that one yet. Anyway, boom. Okay, if you get that, just pop it open again just tap it again there you go there goes the download hit download you'll see it pop up on top download it wait for it to finish there it goes it's done tap it open in now here I use this but you can copy it to to app cake you can actually use um Fowser too files i didn't install Fowser, but that was the first way i learned how to do it with Fowser. you can install with Fowser too but i use reprovision because i wanted to keep signing automatically every time install that's it just wait to it installs it from there once it installs for me if you get any error trying to do this you can always do it another way See, I got an error. Took my certifications. Too many, right? Okay. So, all we gotta do is go back. And then we could try with App Cake. Yeah. Give it a minute. This is the first time App Cake's open it. There we go. See. Go right here to File Manager. Download it. Imported right there. Hit pop one time and install. I should have installed the files because files are was so much easier when I did it. <clears throat> and just wait to for it to install. Wait for that. Tap install. Now it's actually installing it. Now we just gotta wait. Let's see, there should be something here. Down there. It goes right there. Now, since it's doing that, I can go quick and install files. Because I should have just did it that way to begin with. So I suggest everybody just use files. All you gotta do is search it. You don't really need to put in no repos for this. Files is right there. Install it. Confirm. There goes Fowler. See, because when you do it with App Cake, it has to actually search for a certification to add to it. So sometimes it takes a long time. As you can see, we're still waiting. So let's bypass that waiting. Let's see if I can I delete this now. Yeah, cancel download. Wow. Okay. So let's go back. Straight here. Back to there. This file, this file ain't gonna pop up because we just installed it. So let's go back out all the way. Okay. Back to downloads. Done. Now, now reopen the downloads. Open in. And there goes copy the files. Up. Copy the files. Up. Cause files are throws throws it in app cake as you can see. It's still an app cake, but it's inside of the system. So it tends to work better this way when you install this way. I don't know why. It just does. Now just wait. When that, when that install now gets blue again, like the other side where you see done, then you know it's installed. 
just press done back out and you should be able to open the app and start watching movies and TV shows okay I suggest I promote honestly that you should use a VPN because these these companies we deal with for our internet and everything like to you know like to be nosy and see what we're doing you know what I'm saying that's how that's how they work on what that's how they figure out when you're doing copywriting and all of that kind of stuff because you know it just pops up on them so they know what you're doing so with a VPN you actually block and all that they don't know anything you're doing you know what I'm saying so I suggest if you're gonna use it that goes done and done use a VPN you know what I'm saying right now I don't have my VPN installed but you see popcorn right there now Okay, Bluetooth, accept. There you go. Movies. Movies, movies. And TV shows.